for some distance and thereafter checking the voice recording yesterday i had i had video logged this entire ride but when i went home and saw the recordings the voice quality was not up to the mark So let's see how it turns out today. So now I am cycling between the stadium polo ground and the Tikri Wala Chowk. This road is known as the Upper Mall Road, and on my right. Now I am crossing the Div headquarters. So this is the Div headquarters on my right. And straight ahead the roundabout which you can see the hikri wala chowk there is total festive atmosphere of elections going on in patiala and at hikri wala chowk the central election commissioner of punjab they have made a three dimensional hoarding in the form of a hut which is just exhorting people to vote so now i am crossing tikri wala chowk straight up is now the fountain chowk or the old famous landmark of patiala the fawara chowk and you can see the fountain is working today there is a bloody stupid truck chap with a musical horn 
though I thought musical horns are banned, but neither musical horns nor silencers on bullet motorcycles are compulsory. So you find noise making bullets as well as these trucks making funny sounds with this musical horns. So this is a barrier which has been put up by CRP. Wonder what they are doing. This is all the election this thing. So this is the main guard of Akalis which I just passed that was the shop of Gurpal Juneja and that building was Gurpal Juneja's he is standing from the Akalis so now we are cycling on the road joining the fountain shop with the YSOI Chalk. YSOI Chalk is at Leela Bhavan and is just about 100 meters from here. Lights are green now. I think I'll just cross over along with this lot of traffic. But the traffic is too much today. I don't think I'll get a chance to cross over in one go. This is the stupid truck with the, the musical horn. And there is a sugar cane ready also. This girl is coming at right angles from Fab India side. So probably she is stuck now because of the oncoming traffic. And here comes this sugar cane juice wala. So now I have taken a left turn because of the traffic. And I will go to this triangular crossing at Gopal Suites and then come back so that I can cross over to Barado. Tremendous traffic today. I really don't know why. also crossing over along with this two wheelers now I am facing YSOI chop and I will cross over inside Barajo from here so straight ahead is YSOI straight up Traffic has turned red traffic lights, so I got a chance to just cross over along with the others. Now we are facing the parking area of the walking path of Varadari Gardens. Let me see, Nina is there out for a walk. I think I should be able to spot her car. Yeah, that's it on my right. Now I am cycling inside Baradari and straight ahead is the roller skating track of Patiala but somehow I have found it unoccupied for the past few days. I think there is a government order that all playgrounds play are closed because of 
Omicron. Playgrounds are closed, but otherwise all activities are going on. So that is the hypocrisy of the Indian government. Now we are cycling towards Marani Club. Straight ahead, it is the Mahindra Gymkhana Club as well as the Maharani Club. So I will take a short break here and check out the quality of the voice recording. Otherwise, it shouldn't happen that I land up home and the voice recording is not up to the mark. So this is a rather spot without any rush. I'll stop here and check out the recording. Okay, so now I have seen the voice, quality of the voice recording with the wireless mic which was which came along with the DJI Pocket 2 and that I think has muffled the surrounding sounds and also the recording is just mono recording so now I am trying out the onboard four mics which are built in with the DJI Pocket 2 camera and let me see how the quality of the sound comes out now this should enhance the voice recording also but at the same time it will enhance the ambient noise too <coughs> so it needs to be checked out now i am crossing the level crossing okay so i just crossed the baradari railway level crossing patiala has got now three major flyovers one at the bus stand one is known as the 21 number flyover and one the 22 number flyover so when i came here in 1977 there were no flyovers and the traffic once the trains passed became nightmarish and today's gate and age we just cannot imagine what would be the condition if there were no flyovers so now i am approaching through the shortcut i have just taken a shortcut next to the is guys house in, which is located in Baradari and now I have come at the base of 21 number fly so I am crossing on the service road of 21 number fly over so once I cross over under this flyover I will be entering the area of Punjabi Bark. All these three colonies, Punjabi Bark, Civil Lines and Model Town are the slightly better residential areas. These were the first areas to come up in Patiala outside the walled city. So these are relatively older areas but certainly developed 
after independence. Prior to that, Patella was restricted to the walled city and the princely castles and the Maharaja's Mahal, the Shish Mahal, etc. The rest, all of this was jungle area and villages. In fact, where we are in Osses Colony, that area, there were just two or three houses and it was all fields and farm land. And the cost of land, if I wanted to buy a plot that time, would have been about 12 or 13 rupees a square yard and now in that area old area it is about 40,000 a square yard and where my house is it is about 20,000 so that is a difference now if I have to construct a house there it will cost me at least two and a half crores so these are all acquisitions of the olden days in fact i acquired the plot only in 2000 that was also rather late but when i came here in 1977 had i acquired the plot it would have been just about seven eight thousand rupees okay now we are on the fringes of Punjabi Bag. I will turn right from here and go to Sambhavna Hospital area and then on to Civil Lines. I have done about 6 kilometers and turning right from here and then left I shall be skirting this school on my left and reaching Sadhavna Hospital so before that I will check out this second recording and see which out of the two that is with the wireless mic public the onboard four stereo mics which of the two should be used for further recording okay now this is a rather lonely patch ideal area for taking a break and checking out my recording I'll halt in front of this Bikram College this is Bikram College and check out the recording definitely the sound from the four mics is much better I have checked out both the recordings and I feel that these four mics give a stereo perspective of the whole journey cycling and it is better for video logging so now I am crossing Sadhavna hospital on my right this hospital is impaneled to ECHS it is run by a heart specialist and is rather run on ethical lines So now I will be turning right from here 
had a look in my rear view mirror and turned right so now i'm going to hit the lateral road which comes from dukh nivaran sahib and goes to thapad engineering college there are two roads on both sides of a canal there is a canal which runs from sirhand canal and gets water to the tank of shooting put nivaran sahib and both sides of this canal there are two roads both leading to the crossing of upper and another roads and along this canal on either side is a good walking path so now on my right is this passi road on which i am going and you can see there is a canal and a walking track on my right so this walking track is about 2 and 1/2 kilometers long along the canal between dukhiwaran sahib and the nabar road junction only thing surprising which i find every time i cycle on this route is that the road which is running is raised in the center that means there is lower ground on either side and high ground in the center so i don't know how this water flows until unless there is a deep cut in the हाँ जी काली माता पीछे रह गया जी है पीछे जाओ ये दुख निवारण साहब है ना ये बिचो बारादरी बिचो लग जाओ है ना इतो जो मेन गुरुद्वारा है वाला वाला हाँ उतो ना तुम जैसे जिस तरह गुरुद्वारे से जाओगे ना लाइटा तो पार्क के बड़ जाना है ना हाँ फिर पार्क के बच्चे वड़ के ना फिर पार्क के किसी पूछ लेना थोड़ा कुमकम एरिया है खब्बे पास है काली माता मंदिर है ना तो आई वॉज स्टॉप बाय दिस गाय एंड वॉन्टेड डायरेक्शन टू काली माता मंदिर विच आई गेव इन That is a tradition in Patiala. Anybody asks for directions, people are willing to leave the person right in the destination. It has happened with me a number of times when I ask for directions in Patiala. People say, "Just follow us," and they will make sure you reach your destination. The so same thing. I did stop and gave him elaborate directions. So what I was saying that if you see the road is higher where I am negotiating, and it will again take a dip, and towards Dukh Nivaran Sahib on my back, again the road is taking a dip, but the central portion. the highest point we are about to reach i can't be mistaken because i am cycling and i know the effort increases when i cross this area now we are at the highest point roughly at the highest point and the road will again take a dip so probably some engineering trick 
to ensure water comes from Siran Canal and goes to the Sarovar located in Dukh Nivaran Sahib. So now about 300 meters we will hit the lateral coming from Bhatsho. Bhatsho is a newly developed area of Patiala and towards Bhupindra Road. Bhupindra Road is on the left and Bhatsho is on the right. So I plan cycling for at least three kilometers till Bhatsho market, end of the market. That will make my trip today 11 kilometers one way and by the time I reach back home it will be probably 21 or 22 kilometers. So now we have hit the T junction. On my right is the Upper Institute. I will do the proper thing. I will go to the crossing, take a U-turn and then go towards Hudson. So I have taken a U-turn and now I am heading towards Bhatsho straight up beyond this car you can see the black board of Upper Technology Campus. So this is the main entrance of the huge Upper Technology Campus and on the right is the parallel road to Pasi Road and straight up is Hudson Road. Now I am cycling all along the wall of the Patiala Jail. Up till the market of Bhatso Market. This area has number of hawkers selling fruits and fresh vegetables. Very popular area with the passerbys for purchase of fruits and vegetables. And on the right hand side is the wall of the Sayala Jail. Really there is a lot of fresh vegetables and fruits. These are all directly sold by the farmers. And they come in their vans and tractor trolleys directly get the produce from the fields and sell it here. This Bhatso area is a residential area developed well after Punjabi Baths civil lines 
also well after the officers call me where we are staying but it is coming up very fast and coming up as a nice area so this indicates that there is lot of expansion in patiala it's a quiet town no industry only known for educational institutions there is a medical college rajendra medical college there is punjabi university then there are three four other good colleges and last but not the least the thapar university thapar university is a high ranking engineering college it has a very high all india ranking and admissions in choice stream are rather difficult so this is where the bhatsaw market starts as far as elections are concerned because yesterday there was a lot of activity of elections but today suddenly i see the activity has reduced So this is the bustling market of Bhatsu Chungi. It is known as Bhatsu Chungi. Yesterday I saw a election procession of Dharmveer Gandhi, Doctor Dharmveer Gandhi. who had won from up he was the member of parliament when up won four seats in punjab and all four won from this belt only Unfortunately, as per newspaper report, they couldn't achieve much. And I am quoting newspaper reports only. And now he has probably shifted his party loyalty. He is no longer in power. That is for certain. And he has recently given. an anti kejriwal statement which came out in the papers and i think he is now in the newly formed kisan party a single road and traffic has outgrown a number of times late entrance to put 
Ayala. So they are settling along the outskirts now on the Zirakpur Road. Yeah, that is Dharambir Gandhi on that auto rickshaw whose advertisement was going on. On the Zirakpur Road, the development is in the form of urban estates, proper planned colonies. But on the Sirhand and Bhatsa Road, it is all private colonization. done about 10.4 kilometers and another five six hundred meters and then I will turn back already sunset time and getting dark but I don't think in the camera one will be able to feel that it is getting dark Okay, so now this was earlier absolute outskirts because there were just two three marriage palaces but now the colonization has reached in this point. another 140 meters to go and it will be exact 11 kilometers okay so another 30 meters So, I have clocked 11 kilometers and I will make a U-turn, get down the cycle, I will switch on my rear light and front light and then I will cycle back. Now I will switch off my camera for the portion I have already cycled and then switch it back on again later after crossing the Naba road juncture from where I had turned towards Aston road so after crossing that point on my way back now I have switched on the camera again. I have done about 14 and a half kilometers and I am cycling right through Bhupindra Road which is one of the better shopping areas of Patiala. Other than the total exotic brands the rest of the brands which are commonly used 
everywhere all those brands are available here so it is a good shopping complex and you can see this complete shops on either side all branded showrooms and this upendra road leads on to the 22 number flyover 22 number flyover i shall be cycling up that fly so that is the old and good market 22 number flyover but now it has got lost some of its sheen because it has come under the flyover not with standing that its clientele has probably increased over the number of years so on my right is the famous tabish street this is the main branch of tabish street and on my left this is the columbia asia hospital first while columbia asia but now it has been taken over by manipal hospitals so this is affiliated to ecs and this is the chroma complex and it is known as rajkamal square shops are still available on rent this is the newest construction just about 1 year old so on my left is the 22 number market which has now come under the flyover and i am now climbing up the flyover thank god for this joker who has started off because otherwise for a cyclist to cross the flyover becomes difficult i have changed into the lowest but one gear and i will change to the lowest gear just short of the top of the flyover so another 20 meters and i'll be on the top of the flyover let me change to the lowest gear yeah so i'm cycling up comfortably slight loss of breath that is natural it's a steep incline so energy wasted is now going to be regained as i will be zipping down now starts the descent from the flyover on my left and below the flyover is the good and old market of 22 number crossing 
इट वॉज नोन एज बाईस नंबर फाटक मार्केट एज सुन एज आई फिनिश माई डिसेंट आई विल बी हिटिंग दी लीला भवन मार्केट एंड दी वाई एस ओ आई शो This is the commissioner's residence on my left. And on my right is all Leela Bhavan. This lighted gateway you see on the left is the commissioner's residence. So one can have a look this leela bhavan market is mainly occupied by eating joints and aisles coaching centers and the dealers for or the immigration consultants so it is always a buzz with activity because the number of youngsters come to these coaching centers and thereafter they seek immigration and during the classes they have chicken pizzas and donuts so that is what is available here now i am on <coughs> ysi crossing so moment the traffic stops on my right i will cross halfway straight up is ysi okay so the traffic lights have become red for the traffic on my right i have utilized this opportunity to cross over so on my left is ysoi now and now we will be crossing mohan intercontinental hotel why ysoi has a tie up with this mohan intercontinental on my left and what the time was running before covid the food used to come from mohan intercontinental these little cars who park on the road double parking that is common thing in patiala they block half the road and to cross them when the traffic is coming from the rear another nuisance is this battery operated rickshaws okay to my 1 o'clock is this gurpal junejas main election office he is a good chap otherwise but i think in akali party he is just not going to win the last 10 years i have seen him lose three four elections and because he is from the akali party and ever since i have come to permanently come and settled in patiala Kalis are on a losing spree. So now we are at Fountain Chowk on our way back, and I will be going right from here like this, and on to the 
Upper Mall Road. But before that, I will buy these burgers from this chair because they are liked by all the Sushila family and also I want to try one today so let us see how it is so I will switch off my camera now हाँ जी सात बर्गर पैक कर देना सो आई हैव ऑर्डर्ड सेवन बर्गर्स एंड यू विल टेक सम टाइम टू मेक एंड आई विल नाउ स्विच ऑफ माय कैमरा